or you have, or, or you just have, like I said, you have chill, right? Wow. What's up? What's this? <laughs> What's up guys? My name is Kev and welcome to the Sydney Food Boy channel. Today we're meeting up with uh, some of my best buds from uni. We've got Jason out the back, George and Alice there. And we're gonna go look for some Japanese yakitori to eat. Tonight we're headed to Yakitori Jin located in Sydney's inner western suburb of Haberfield. Haberfield's more well known for their amazing Italian food, so you'll find yakitori gin hidden beside some real superstar Italian restaurants. The address is 101 Ramsey Street, Haberfield. Traditionally, yakitori uses cuts of chicken, which they skewer on sticks called kushi. All parts of the chicken are used, including the innards. Yakitori gin uses pork meat as well. You can choose to have it either with tar sauce or just plain salted, before the skewers are grilled over hot charcoal. Coriander chili kingfish. I was hoping that <laughs> Sashimi tacos with a little bit of uh, lemon drizzle. Oh, nice yeah. more mm -hmm. So what you want, what you want to I have that shit. Mm. It's really nice and fresh here. Served salted and then he has the sunjunk, so it looks like a Korean sunjunk sauce. Or you have, or you just have, like I said, you have chill, right? Wow. So juicy. Oh, so juicy. It's incredibly juicy. It has the, it has the smoky taste from the charcoal. Um, it's beautifully salted. It tastes like a warm hug from Jason. <laughs> It's so good, you just want to lick the stick, lick the stick clean. Which one? This is quite really good. Kind of sweet, but then also got the smokiness from the barbecue. Next up we have uh, chicken and leek. So you've got sort of slices of chicken thigh, sort of lined up, and then you have little chopped up leek. Yeah. I really love the marinade on this. Um, it gives the chicken thigh a really good flavor. Of course, being chicken thigh, it's very soft, very juicy, very tasty. I love the smokiness that I'm getting from all the slices of meat. It's really tasty, it's really juicy. It just works really well. Every bite is just. <laughs> Just want to drink the sauce, drink the marinade. Mm. That was a bit salty, I shouldn't have done that. This is the chicken liver. It's got a weird texture, but it's not too bad. Gotta eat some liver. Comes marinated, but there's a little bit of a it looks like pepper and salt to put on it. Mm. 
<laughs> Thank you. I agree, Jason. <laughs> Definitely not as good as the other the other meats that we tried. More crispy on the outside, but it's like a it's like a mousse on the inside. So, sort of um blows up in your mouth with that mousse. So we got meatball with soft boiled egg. A bit like an onsen egg. So you use a chopstick, you open it up and all the yolk pulls out. And then you get the sausage and you dip it in with this. She knows that she rocks that. Oh, that's a really good um, meatball. It's soft on the inside, nice and crispy on the outside. Gets a lot of that smoky charcoal flavor in it. it tastes really good with the, the egg yolk as you mix it in. It's awesome. Uh, it's like the yeah. Nothing big but on to egg. We got chicken thigh here. This is chicken thigh marinated with uh, yakitori sauce. It doesn't come with the leek. So this is the second one that we ordered because the chicken thigh is obviously very soft, very juicy. We really like this one. This one's cool. better than the first one. Uh, roommate, you show me. <laughs> Um, beautiful sauce on it. I think um, this is some of the juiciest chicken pie that I've tried. It obviously catches a lot of that smoky flavor as well. It's good. Very good. Chicken tail. I've never had chicken tail before, so this is very interesting. Is this too hot? Pretty good. I didn't give as much meat, obviously because the tail doesn't have enough meat into that. It's nice, it's a nice flavour. Charcoal taste. A bit more fatty than the other one, but yeah, it's definitely smaller. So keep that in mind when you order the tail. It's definitely not as much meat as when you order the thigh or the breast. Last one. Is it the walls of the stomach? Drizzle some lemon on top and dip in a little bit of salt. Mm. I like this. I like this is better than uh, the, the the liver. It has a more solid taste to it. Um, it's more bouncy when you bite into it. But you know what? The taste is there, and it's really nice. It looks. Don't you think it looks like chair vegetable reflection? Abstract. Hey guys, I'm finally home. If you've watched this far into the video, thank you so much. My tongues are still tingling uh, from all the flavor of that yakitori. It was, it was a really, really awesome meal. I haven't eaten yakitori since I've been in Japan and the flavors of the yakitori sticks that they serve at Yakitori Jin, pretty good. You know, it's very, very similar to what they'd serve in Japan. It's a bit more expensive, so altogether that meal cost about $50 per person. Each yakitori stick of meat, um, it would be about $5, $6 each. So it can get a bit expensive, especially if you have a big appetite, but definitely worth the flavors that you get to try um, off the charcoal. If you enjoyed watching today um, and you want to join me for more food adventures, remember to hit the subscribe button down below. Give the video a like. Give me a shout if you do end up heading over to Haberfield to Yakitori Gen and let me know what you think. See you guys. Yeah.